<laughs> hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about how to spot a fake modern renaissance palette. And I recently just started getting into makeup maybe about four or five months ago. Well, I shouldn't say makeup. High-end eyeshadow palettes to be exact. Because I never really did my eyeshadow. I would always just put on some mascara, maybe some eyeliner and call it a day. But <laughs> since I started getting into eyeshadow palettes, yes, it's gotten a little bit more expensive and it's been a little bit addicting, but it's okay. It's fun. So I came across this Modern Renaissance palette when I was looking up like YouTube tutorials and eyeshadow tutorials and I, you know, I thought it was a very pretty palette. So obviously I wanted to get it. And I looked up the website, I looked at the price, and it was like $42. At the time, I was just like, that's kind of expensive for one palette. Well, I just started looking around and I saw that on eBay, they were selling it for like about a third or half of the price or something like that. Obviously, we're all looking for a deal sometimes, right? And well, I ended up buying it. When it arrived, I thought it was a beautiful palette. I had no idea that there was a such thing as, you know, fake makeup out there or anything like that. I can't believe that people are just scamming people out of their bucks and some people don't even know. I was oblivious to it. So one day I was browsing on my feed and I saw a fake versus a real palette video and I clicked on it, I watched it, and that made me think, did I receive a fake one? And so I was kind of bummed out at the fact that I did find out it was fake. I went on eBay, I messaged the seller, I reported the post. So the seller got back to me right away. She was like, I'm just gonna refund your money and you can keep the palette. So I was like, well, I guess I'm not gonna use it anyway, but it's good because I can show you guys the difference between the two. So it's kind of hard to tell if your palette is fake, if you don't have one to uh, compare it to right away because this one this one's pretty like it looks like the real thing but if you are going to purchase off of like eBay or one of the third-party sites and make sure that you do your research look at the reviews look at the comments because I didn't do that at first from the packaging obviously if you just if you don't have one to compare it to like I said it's gonna be hard to tell well, a little bit harder to tell that you have a fake palette so these are both of them right here this is the real one So two different, you can tell by the purple color, it's a little bit off. This one has a more pink hue to it and this one's more purple. They look pretty similar. This one just has a little bit more indention to it. But like I said, if you have, if you guys have bought one off of eBay and you're watching this video, and my, I think the best thing would be to take it to an actual Ulta store or Sephora or one of those where they sell it and just compare it to your your palette to make sure you got the real deal. From the back, you can definitely tell the differences because this one is more crisp and clear. And this one's a little blurred out the image and you can just tell the differences with that. See, that's the real one. And this is the fake one. The color, the pigments are just, they look different. Um, as far as the writing goes, I think everything is about the same. When you first unbox the palette, you obviously can tell that they are this like felt material. They're very soft, but you can tell the difference when you put them side by side. But I uh, know not everybody has them to compare it to against. If yours is fake, it's going to have the Beverly Hills in cursive, which on the real palette, it is not in cursive, it is just regular text, uh, capital text. So there's one sign right there. You see the lettering on there too? The Beverly Hills should not be cursive. Should not be in cursive. And these lettering, these letters are a lot bigger on the Anastasia. Okay, so let's open them up. Let's open up the fake one first. So this is a fake one. It didn't even have an N on the Anastasia, but I mean, this is just the peel sticker thing that I didn't take off. You can definitely tell that this one's fake because it has these big old magnets right here, which I think are a little tacky looking. And if you look at the real palette, you see that it just has very teeny little magnets right there. So that's one big difference. Beverly Hills that shouldn't be in cursive. There's the regular, the real one. So the colors look kind of similar. 
obviously I mean you can also tell that this palette is smaller see these ones are bigger than these and just the colors are not as great now the brushes <laughs> The real one has the big lettering again. No, mama. The small one is in cursive. I think that also the, on the real one, this sticker is not as easy to pull off as this one. It's just like they slapped a, you know, a copy sticker on there. So that's one big difference from the back. I'm not sure about the ingredients. I think everything's the same. So let's go ahead and measure them. I can show you but right here from the side. I can show you from the side difference that the top one is the real palette, the bottom one is the smaller one, which is the fake palette. So there's a difference in size. Alright guys, so that is the difference between the two. Like I said, I recommend did, if you did purchase one that not directly from the store or the website itself, then go into the Ulta or one of the your beauty stores and just compare it. If you do find out it's fake, try to get your money back because you know, these can be harmful to your eyes, the ingredients that they use in the formulas and stuff like that. And you know, when you do find the means, purchase yourself a real one or before you go out and spend your money on a particular palette i would say do your research watch those reviews those youtube reviews on them before you spend your money on a on a palette and then you're disappointed with it later on you know if you guys have any comments any questions then just leave them below and i'll try to get back to you as soon as i can but as always thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time